You can make almost any photograph look like a tintype by using editing software like Photoshop or ArcSoft. So here's the original digital photograph, and here it is after we've made it look like a tintype. The trick to making a convincing tintype is to choose an image where the person isn't smiling. Most of the old pictures you see, nobody was ever smiling. Uh, part of that is believed because it, the exposures took such a long time on the old cameras that it would be hard to hold a smile for such a long time. And the other theory was that a serious face was considered more proper, and since people only had their pictures taken once in a while, they wanted to look as proper as possible. So either way, pick a picture where the person is not smiling. So use your photo editing software settings to turn your picture into a sepia picture. Just like that. So then just Google the word tintype, and you want to find one that has a lot of background around the head because you're going to be using this background part. You're just going to wash out the person in the middle, so find one with a lot of background. You're going to want to use the cloning tool. And you'll just right click on a clean space and then left click to slowly make the person in the picture disappear. and then you end up with a clean sheet of tintype background. So just copy your tintype background and paste it right on top of your portrait. And you may have to spread it out and adjust it wherever you want it. And then you can just close out the other. So then what you'll want to do is set your eraser tool to 50% transparency and then just start erasing only the top layer so that you're only erasing away the tintype layer about 50% and the bottom layer where the actual portrait remains untouched. And you'll start to see the face come through then. and then you end up with what is starting to look like a tintype. And so what you want to do now is just move around your erased layer, the top layer, get it exactly where you want it, stretching and moving, maybe flipping it the opposite way, I think. And that way you'll have your scratches exactly where you want them on your tintype. Now select the bottom layer to start working on. And you're just going to up the contrast of your photo, the contrast and the saturation, until you have it about where you want it. This won't be the finished product, but it'll be getting close. You can also decrease the brightness, helps a lot. And then we'll edit the saturation. You do want it to look a little bit faded when you're doing these. Then you'll go back to your layers and merge your two layers down. So then you'll go back once more and play with the contrast and saturation again until it looks just about where you want it. So once you have the contrast and saturation that you want for your tintype, you're just going to manually darken all your corners with your darkener on 50%. It just gives it that tin type look. You can do that to all four corners. And if you find that the 50% isn't dark enough, you can just run back over them again. And so then we have the finished product.